everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're about to see all the video footage of everything I sold in the month of January on eBay. Um, I'm going to share with you how much I sold it for and maybe a little bit of brief background on the item. Then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you exactly how much profit I made, how much I listed, how much I sold, and just some more statistics. So here come all the little clips. Well, I went and packed these up and forgot to do a video. So footage, um, this is Stop the Press, a metallic lipstick shade by CoverGirl. And I sold four of these for $8.75. Now that doesn't sound like a super great deal, but I think I paid like 18 cents a piece for them. So I made some money on those. Also sold this book, Curing the Heart, um, which I forgot to um, film as well. Uh, it was a very good condition paperback and I sold this for $11. So this is a cassette tape. Um, it's a vintage Christian conference edition with narration, promise keepers, the making of a godly man. Interesting thing about cassette tapes is that I've sold quite a few um, and, and they were free. They were being disposed of because um, I thought people didn't really use cassette tapes anymore, but lo and behold, they do. And I've actually sold one. This was last spring. And I think I sold it for like about $40. Um, it was just, you know, like a special one. So I, some of them I've made more money on the, than others. But um, surprising to me that people are interested in them. And I'm happy to make, you know, a little something. Keep it out of the landfill. Um, you know, get it to somebody who wanted it. And so anyways... This I sold for $8. This is a, a new Simplicity pattern. Pattern 4632 in size BB. These are plus sizes. Um, this is pre-owned but never used. Uncut. Factory folded. And I just listed this and it sold right away. I sold this for $8.95. This is a vintage... Um, lighthouse weather vane kit that you can make with the oven um it is complete includes the wood pole there um and this i sold for 45 dollars these are pretty rare complete and unused and then we have don't keep me silent and this is a used paperback. I sold that for $15. And then we have the Holman Book of Biblical Charts, Maps, and Reconstructions. Uh, spiral bound, also used. And I sold this for $19.99. We have Unrestricted Warfare. Uh, this book is in very nice condition. And this I sold for 19, oh, I'm sorry, 17.79. Now these items are both from a Wholesale Ninja box. We have a e.l.f. Uh, brush set with some sponges. And this I sold for 10.99. Packaging was a little distressed, uh, but it's still new. And that was all photographed. And then we have Beauty Collagen Unflavored. And this I sold for $14.99. I don't know if I mentioned these. I sold for $10.99. And then lastly, we have a, a piano or vocal book here from a 1998 Songs for Worship music. And this is used. And this I sold for $10.25. So for some reason, it is yarn day here for me. I don't know why. I sold two listings of with yarn, and I don't have that many yarn listings. But um, this I just recently listed. It's a lot of fancy fur. It's a very frilly um, yarn by Lion Brand. And this is just a lot. There's nine complete skeins, and then two balls, which... I, I don't know how much there is. It's all the same uh, color and lot. 
And this I sold for $42.99. I got this bag at the Salvation Army Fabric Fair, um, which I have a video, a couple videos on, and I paid $2 for the bag. And then I have this single skein I sold. Um, I also got this at that fabric fair, but in a large bag with multiple of another colorway. But then there was just one of this colorway. Well, the multiple from the other colorway sold a while back, but I have now sold this. It's a um, yarn that kind of transitions colors and textures. It's really neat. Um, and this skein in Shazam, <laughs> I sold this for $13. And then, lastly, this was from a box from Wholesale Ninjas, just for me. It's a children's um, detangler and softener, texture softener. Um, this is kind of heavy. I'm not going to make a lot on this. Um, I did sell it for $11.99. This is a vintage uh, knitting and crocheting pattern book. It's got a lot of, a lot of patterns in it. Some neat things. Um, these are all different styles that are in here. And this I sold for $19.25. And then we also have some Dritz No Sew Dungaree Buttons. And these I sold for $9.25. It just so happened to be Pattern Day. Uh, just listed this and just so just, no, I didn't sew it. <laughs> I sold it. Um, it is pre-owned, but unused, uncut, factory folded, and I sold this for $25.99. And then also this pattern, also new, unused, pre-owned, though you can see some wear to the envelope. And this one I sold for $8.99. So this is a three book set, a little trilogy by Laura Hilton, The Amish of Seymour. Um, and these are pre-owned, but in good condition. They are a ex-library, like a church ex-library or something. So they do have the card pocket, but very light wear. Um, and these I sold for 1924. I also sold this vintage hardcover, uh, the Cambridge Bible Commentary on the New English Bible, the Acts of the Apostles. And this I sold for $20.99. And here we have a iPad screen protector. I believe the story on this was we actually purchased this for iPads that we had, but then we ended up with new iPads. And so I listed this. And this I sold for $15.65. And then I have this set of three two-packs of baby clothing here <laughs> some sort of conflict in the hallway um and they are six to nine months but each each one has two little rompers super cute so a while back i got these um for two dollars a set um walmart had this huge rack of these and i bought some and donated them to a friend who has a uh something where she collects children's clothing for donations and um i bought some to sell so i sold the the three of these so six total rompers new with tags and i sold those for 38.99 so what we have here is a charm pack this is by missouri star quilt company an interesting little side story involving this so this was from the 2023 countdown to christmas jenny's box that she does every year which is kind of like a grown-up adult advent box um with a sewing kind of theme um anyways in the past i have purchased this box but this past year 2023 i did not purchase the box and i was like back and forth about whether i wanted to purchase it or not i actually have a couple videos of you know the various items in the boxes and what I liked and what I didn't like and then I also have a video that um, shows me making my own 
countdown to Christmas type of box for some family members, um, which I did this past year. So anyways, I was torn about if I wanted to get this box this year or not. So it just so happened now, this is January, I was in the Goodwill and there was a whole bunch of stuff there from the Countdown to Christmas box. So some things I bought, some things I didn't buy because I didn't particularly feel like I wanted them. Um, but this was in a bag with three other charm packs. And um, one of them was also from the Countdown to Christmas box this year. But I think I got the three charm packs for like $4.50 or maybe $4.99. Um, anyways, I was not super thrilled with this. This is the Snuggly Sweater Charm Pack. Um, and there was a pattern and a template to make like an ugly sweater kind of table runner-ish thing, I believe. Um, wasn't super thrilled with this, but apparently there is a good market for it. Um, because when I researched to list this, one had sold for like $19.00. That was it. There was no others listed. So I listed this one for $19.25 and it sold like within an hour of listing it. So happy, happy for that. We can't see all the fabrics in here, but we do know there's 42 five by five inch squares. And there are different prints. Um, so also I sold this expository notes. James and Peter by H.A. Ironside, a old, old hardcover from 1968, and this I sold for $17.99. I also sold this video-based Bible study by David Platt, Counter Culture, and this I sold for $14.75. This is a vintage hardcover, The New Testament Beliefs and Practices by Harold S. Martin. Um, I don't know the date of this offhand, but it's pre-owned, still in good condition. And I sold this for $13.79. And then we have this five volume um, reference book, the Zondervan Pictorial Encyclopedia of the Bible. Now these are pre-owned, I guess you could say. There is a little damage here to the spines a little bit, but the books are actually um, in really nice condition. They were reference books at a library, so they weren't actually checked out. Um, but anyways, so the five of these I sold for $70.99. Now they are going to cost a good bit to ship. Um, but still, I'm going to make some money off of these. So do you remember those five volumes of the Zondervan Encyclopedia big thing I sold for $70.99? And I told you it was going to cost me a good bit to ship it, but I would still make some money. So that ended up costing me $15 to ship. And then eBay's fees were right around $10, $11 in between there. So I did still make some money on those. I'm sure I didn't pay too much for them. I can't exactly recall. This is a Tupperware fridge stackable deli keeper meat and cheese storage thing um, in shade teal. It has four pieces, three layers. And this I've had listed for quite some time. Just haven't haven't sold it. It's kind of a neat thing. I did think about keeping it myself a couple times. Um, also thought about lowering the price, but it sold. I don't know how long I've had this listed, um, but I sold it for twenty-seven ninety-nine. So this is a hardcover book from nineteen fifty, so fairly old. It's the new popular history of the world. Um, you can see it's not in perfect condition. It's been around, but it still has lots of life in it. Um, I've had this listed for a while. I don't know exactly how long, um, but it did sell, and I sold that for oops, seventeen twenty-five. Let's see the, the the spine. The print is practically gone. <laughs> um, I also sold this, studying the synoptic. 
Gospels, Origin and Interpretation. We just recently listed this, and I sold this for $14.55. So what is all of this? Um, recently, I posted a video. It was two big bags of doll clothing that I got um, at the Goodwill. And I kind of separated it from the brand so that I could tell. Well, all of these items, I didn't get all that listed that I'm going to sell, but I did get some of it. And this is Bitty Baby by American Girl. So these are just some oddities that were in that bag that are all Bitty Baby things. And um, I, I don't even know what all of it is exactly. Of course, these are like a little diaper. Um, I'm assuming this is like a little wipe case. This says Bitty Baby. So this is kind of like an oddity collection to kind of complete. Maybe you're missing some pieces. I don't know. Anyways, I listed it and it sold rather quickly. And I sold all of this for $23.25. We have a children's Bible study, probably like middle middle school age Bible study. Um, this is pre-owned but unused. And this I sold for $8.35. These are vintage Hallmark poinsettia playing cards in the original little plastic case. Oh, um, really nice, really good condition. I don't even know if they were really used much, maybe a little bit. Um, the cards are still crisp. Um, these I've had listed for quite a while. Um, I did sell some other playing cards a while back, so I had gotten quite a few special sets of playing cards. Um, and it's probably been two years I've had these. I think they're upside down. There you go. So these I sold for $12. And this. This is 20 inches by 20 inches. It's a little um, wall hanging quilted with applique on it. Handmade. Uh, beautiful workmanship. I picked this up at a thrift store somewhere. It was donated. I didn't pay too much for it. Uh, it's got a little wall hanger pocket on the back. Um, and this I sold for $21.84. This is the Deeper State, a book um, about the war on Trump. I don't know where I got this at, but I think I have two or three new copies of it. Um, this was $12.25, I sold that for. And then this is pre-owned, used. And I sold this book, The Church, for $10. So a couple of little snippets ago, I had a charm pack, the Ugly Sweater Charm Pack from the Missouri Star um, 2023 Countdown to Christmas. And this was also from that, the lot of things that I got at the Goodwill. Uh, this is the pattern that went along with it. Um, and then these are the, the color squares. So I sold these for $16.55. I just threw in the pattern since I happened to have it. So this is a new um, set by The Great Courses. It's Biblical Wisdom and Literature. So there's the course guidebook. And then there are three DVDs that have multiple lectures on them. And this I sold for $25.35. Um, brand new, and I paid, what did I pay for it? I think I paid $2 for it, something around there, roundabouts. Um, this is a new copy of Becoming Who You Are, paperback, and this I sold for ten oh nine. So these are really neat. These are some different, like, figurines. There's different horses and different... Um, like knights with like they're jousting knights and the knights kind of match the horse that they go to that one has some broken arms which uh, was noted but anyways there's quite a few I think there are six horses and six knights and these um, are a vintage item they are pretty old they're made by a company called plastoy 
And these actually were sold and are going to Brazil. And I sold this set of these for $70. Here is a little charm pack that um, was also with all that Missouri Star stuff I've got and the Countdown to Christmas. Um, this was in there also and part of that for the 2023 box. And I sold this very quickly along with the other things. For $15.75. I have two boxes of this Nervine Nor Nerve Relief Supplement. Um, I sold these for $20 total. And then we have Organic Apple Cider Vinegar Real Fruit Gummy Supplement. 60 gummies. And this I sold for $12.55. And also a used paperback. Apostle of the Crucified Lord does have some wear to it, but um, pretty valuable even so. Uh, this I sold for $22.99. This is another set of the three um, two-packs from Carter's of Little Rompers. Um, I don't remember when I saw the last one. It might have been this month. I'm not sure. So the three of these I have sold for $38.99. So I don't know what's going on here, but yesterday I sold a set of three of these two-piece romper sets, though I think they were the girl variety, so they might have been like dress and rompers. And today I sold two more sets of six. So this is, there's two on each hanger. So I sold a six to nine month, and then also a three to six month. Um, set almost the same there is one difference in one of the little romper sets is different um so both of these are $38.99 they're both going to the same customer I don't know what's happening with Carter's rompers right now but they're hot <laughs> all of a sudden so I have a paperback from 1988 uh, by J.E. Adams sibling rivalry in the household of God it's used. It's got a little sticker residue. And it's been around. Um, and this I sold for $13. This is a vintage hardcover book from 1989 from Forgiven to Forgiving by Jay Adams. It's got wear, um, but still very readable. And this I sold for $10. And then I have a set of four different Bible stories by K. Arthur. Um, these are pre-owned, but but not, not written in. Um, and these, I sold the set of these for $14.75. And then I have a vintage, uh, pre-owned but unused pattern for appliance covers. And this I sold for $9.75. So we have four CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundations. I actually had these listed as two separate listings. Well, not two separate listings, but two listings. I had one I had one listing with a quantity of two. So each came with two bottles and someone both bought both of the um, quantities that I had. So they purchased two, uh, which is a total of four. I think that made that sound more complicated than it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> was but anyways I love it when they do that I love it when that happens because it does save me a good bit on shipping so I ended up selling the four of these for $28 total then we also have whoops this is a um what they call jelly roll it's uh, strips of fabric and it is a Riley Lake collection. Some pretty fabrics there. And this I sold for $38.75. These are some piano practice books for level one. We have jazz and blues, rock and roll, classics. They are pre-owned. And I think they might have even had some like writing in them maybe not i don't know these, i've had this for a very long time and i sold the set of these for 
1525 playtime piano this is a old -er hardcover no dust jacket between two worlds by stott and i actually have another one of these listed with the dust jacket and this one was a little cheaper also has a whole little note there um, but in good good condition used condition and this I sold for ten thirty five. dollars is a felt bird kit. It has everything you need to make these little birds with the embroidery. Um, there's pre-cut felt. And this was from Missouri Star Quilt Company. It was part of the 2023 Countdown to Christmas box. I picked this up with those other things that I have sold from that box this month. Um, and this I sold for $16.55. So this is a package of polytherm fleece. This was also with all that stuff I bought that came out of the Missouri Star Countdown to Christmas box. Um, and this sold for $15.25. Then I also have another set of three or three packs of two outfits from Carter's. So I think this is the fourth set of these that I've sold this month. I did raise the price a little. Um, these are girls this time, um, but I did raise the price of these a little bit and I sold these for $40.99. So it's six outfits, brand new with the tags. And these are all six to nine month. Then I have this pattern. I actually got this for free. Um, it was at a fabric fair I was at. They were giving away boxes and boxes of patterns. And I took some and I sold this. It's, it's, it is pre-owned but uncut, still factory folded. And this I sold for $16.99. And then this uh, was actually from my mother-in-law. Uh, they had kept this from a personal trip to Daytona Beach. It's just a a advertisement booklet, things to do, you know, just a little travel guide to Daytona Beach from 1969. And this I sold for $13.99. Okay, so this is just a pre-owned paperback, The Vision and Beyond. This I sold for $13.55. And we have Between Two Worlds. So you might have noticed I sold one of these the other day. I don't know what this is, but it's something's happening. The one from the other day had no dust jacket. It was a little less than this one. This one had a dust jacket, still pre-owned, still vintage. And I sold this one for $12. And then we have Bible Personalities. Uh, and this, it's very nice. Very good condition, but pre-owned. And this book I sold for $12 as well. Isn't this cool? Okay, so this is the coloring book of cards and envelopes with the nature theme. There's 24 cards and envelopes plus stickers. And this has been pre-owned, but unused. That there is an envelope. Cards. Really cute, look at that, they're so cute. And then even the stickers are there. And this I sold, you can see a little better, better depiction there. This I sold for $15.99. And lastly here I have um, Hummingbird Lane. This is a 10 square. There's 42 pieces of fabric that measure 10 inches by 10 inches. Um, beautiful. By Robert Kaufman. And you can kind of see the different fabrics here. If I kind of spin it. And this I sold for 55 Oh, no. Um, yes. Yes. $55. So I have the Great Courses, Great Battles of the Ancient World, and there's the course book, and then the uh, DVD series has four discs with 24 lectures and 30 minutes per lecture. I think I sold 
Another great courses item, not too long ago. Um, these generally sell pretty well. Whenever I run across them, different topics are more valuable than others. This one I sold for $14.99, and this is pre-owned, but very good condition. All right, well, welcome back from all those clips. It was a great month for me on eBay. So those of you that have watched these videos before know that I am slowly working of a goal of 2,000 active listings. And um, I was working on that for 2023, didn't make it, still working on it in 2024. So this month, I'm happy to say I did list 146 items. So much better than I have done in, in the last couple months. I had 68 sales, also great. Um, my sales all together profit. Now this is not including my shipping charges, not including what I paid for the product, not including eBay fees. So it is straight profit was seven twenty six eighty three. So I'm pleased with that. Um, something worth noting is I sold more than half books this month. Um, also, I had 14 items that were from Wholesale Ninjas that I sold. So now those items could have been combined like a, you know, a few of this or a few of that, but 14 items from that. Also, you saw a lot of things and I was talking about Missouri Stars um, Countdown to Christmas. Well, in past years, I had purchased the Countdown to Christmas. This year, I did not, um, but I'm going to link those videos. Actually, I think I have a playlist. I'm going to link those so you can see what that is and, um, you know, what those items were. I was actually really surprised with the demand on those items. So that was, that was fun. And it was also kind of neat because I still got to <laughs> see, uh, some of the things that were in the countdown to Christmas. So a few seconds ago there, you'll see the link to the playlist for Missouri stars countdown to Christmas. Then, when I was um, getting ready for Christmas this year, I decided I was going to make my own Countdown to Christmas kind of adult advent box, and that was a lot of fun. And I made a video of that. Now, that was inspired by Missouri Star. So, I'm also going to link that video in case you're interested in seeing that. All these things are kind of sort of related, so I thought I'd link the videos and and explain that. And lastly, if you're still watching this video here at this point, I have a um, giveaway that I'm doing um, for zinnia seeds uh, that I have grown myself and harvested. I've done that for years and years, and I thought it would be fun to share those. So if you're interested in that, very lastly here, you can click the link that should be up somewhere up here um, about that zinnia contest giveaway. And anyways, thanks for watching. Tell me your eBay stories in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you.